Now we're gonna set up some components. I don't really use consumer units because uh, I, I use distribution boards. And again, you could edit single phase and three phase distribution boards. I never used three, three phase without neutral. So this is the one I'm gonna use edit only because I can use this distribution board and then change it to single phase if I want to. It's very kind of versatile one of the most common used so open that why this tpn what's the most common use so let's say 24 ways load rating will be either 160 or 250 amp fault rating it's most likely going to be 25 ka so enter that or leave it blank so either just switch it off or enter that and what's the function most typically it will be lighting and power you can put that in or, or you don't have to this this helps because this is being displayed on the reports so you do want that and um, protection what's the income isolating switch terminals protective device most likely is isolating switch and the rating will be as per distribution board rating i suppose so 160 in this case default protective device we already set default protective device to schneider so that's probably why this is there, but you have an option to, to change that more kind of granular level because not only you select manufacturer, but actually what the family and type, you can change it by selecting different device. So I'm in my case, selecting Actinine, NCB, Type-C, 60898, and I leave the rating as alter because it's a template. Board, loading method, detail, design loads, diversity. I leave this as one because this is applied per project after you build your system. Circuit, there's no really a point to to do anything because if you add circuit, it, it, it's only protective device really you can edit at this point. So it's kind of pointless. I'm going to delete it. You can split one circuit if you want, if that helps you. And also it's a good idea to select the orientation of the joints. By default, out of the box, it comes like this. And it's really annoying because the distribution board in reality doesn't look like it. The, the ways would be either, you may have a split load, so lighting section uh, on top, maybe one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, this goes all the way down and then back up. You never number your distribution board like this. So that's why I go always go one row and then orientation, vertical and camera position on top. Because if I do it on the bottom, the numbering will start from the bottom up. Again, that's not what it, it doesn't represent reality really. So this is the best re representation of what I'm actually doing. This is the best way of working for me everything leave the default at the source and then again display results on distribution board i actually choose to display design current so select on and design current and say i think everything else can be set per project spending more time setting it all up it doesn't really add that much value thank you for watching